Good morning, babies, and welcome to Simply Stacy, where the joy of the Lord is our strength. But this morning, I want to talk about be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. God wants to transform you, babies. When you come into God and you receive Christ as your Lord and your Savior, he wants you to become the image of him. He don't want you to keep the image of the world, what you came out of, Babylon, Egypt. He don't want you to keep on your grave clothes. You know, just like when he raised Lazarus from the dead, what did he do? He, he had to take them grave clothes off of him. You know, he was stinking and everything else because he had been dead, he'd been wrapped up. Babies, God wants to take the grave clothes off you. He wants you to go from being a caterpillar into being a butterfly. Butterfly. You know, caterpillars ain't too cute. But when they turn into the butterfly, they're such a beautiful thing. When you first see them, you wouldn't think that that little thing crawling on the ground will turn into that beautiful butterfly and able to fly. God wants you to go through that transformations, baby. Go through that phase of being a caterpillar. You know, to the world, to your family, to your friends, you might look like nothing. You might look like that old little caterpillar crawling on the bottom right now. You may not be where you want to be right now. You're that caterpillar crawling through life, little step by little step. But believe me, babies, God is going to transform you. And how he's going to do that is by the renewing of your mind. Change the way you think about things. Change your thoughts. Change your way of doing things. You can't keep doing things the way you did in the world. You can't keep worldly consciousness and think you're going to get godly results. God wants to transform you, babies, by the renewing of your mind. Seek God. Get in his word. Fast. Pray. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Anything that you want to change in your life, it's going to begin here. The way you think. You feel stuck. You're stuck because of your way you're thinking. And yes, we have an enemy and he's attacking us. He throws little things in there to try to stop us from getting where God wants us to be. But you have to choose. Are you going to do it the enemy's way or are you going to do it God's way? Choose ye this day who you're going to serve. Choose ye this day what path you're going to take. You know, because you can't keep taking the enemy's path and think you're going to get godly results. You got to go on God's path. And you may have gotten off that path, but God want to line you back up. It's just like the navigation in your car. You turn on the wrong way, what it say? Recalculating. And what it do? It try to line you back up. That's God. He's left us the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost will let you know that you don't got all path and it'll be trying to line you back up. But some of you be resisting God where you should be resisting the devil. So he'll flee. You resist God in the spirit and the spirit flees you because it's not going to hang around with the enemy in the camp. So babies, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. I just want to encourage you this morning, let you know that no matter what battle you're going through, you know, you may be walking in unbelief and, and your faith ain't too strong right now, but you got to begin to get God's word and, and be ye transformed by renewing your mind. By renewing the things that you think about. Don't think about the things that you, that, you know, troubles and problems and fears and anxieties. Don't think them thoughts. Go in the word of God and get scriptures. Meditate on his word. You know, a lot of people are here into this meditating and stuff. A lot of that stuff is not of God. God tells us to meditate on his word. If you meditate on his word, he'll give you peace. That surpasses all understanding. That the world won't even know why you got that peace. Because you're meditating on his word. Meditate on God's word. Everybody's out here seeking everything in the world, trying to find the answers in the world. You know, Saul, he lost contact with God. He couldn't hear from God no more. And what did Saul do in the Bible? He started consulting with mediums, trying to get information and get understanding. That's what people do today. They seek everything else but seeking God to get their answer. Seek God. Seek his word. He's already given us the answer. Seek God. Allow him to give you the seed of what you need to be doing right now. Allow him to give you that answer. Allow him to give you clarity. Stop seeking everything else. You know, like the woman with the issue of blood. Another promise, Amber. She sought all kinds of doctors. She sought everything before she began to go seeking after Jesus to get her healing. Spent all her money up, everything. So many people doing that right now. 
seeking everything else. Put money into this business, trying to get this get rich quick scheme. Spending all the money trying to get money. Going with all these raggedy booze and all this stuff, trying to find the right one. Go to God first. Seek him. He'll lead you into all truth. He'll lead you to what road you need to go on and what path you need to take. He'll lead you to the people that you need to have in your life. Seek God. Stop seeking everything else. Like the woman with the issue of blood. Seeking everything else for her healing. Ladies, stop seeking everything and everybody else to get your healing. Seek God. He's on the throne. All he wants you to do is ask him. All he wants you to do is do it his way. So he can transform you by the renewing of your mind. So he can transform you from that caterpillar into that butterfly. So you can fly. He's taller you crawling on the bottom. He wants to see you fly in the soar. What the word of God say? You're mount up with wings of an eagle. He wants you to mount up. And how you're going to do that is by seeking him, getting his word and doing it his way. Take the path for God. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Babies, I love you and so does God. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and be encouraged today. God is with you, caterpillar. It won't be long for now. You will turn into that butterfly if you allow God to transform you. And how is he going to do that? By renewing your mind, getting the mind of Christ. You can't have the mind of the enemy and be transformed from a caterpillar. You can't have the mind of the enemy and walk and have the image of God. Babies, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. And how you're going to do that is get in your word and allow God to do what he do and transform you. Smoochy sugar workers, have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'm just, I'm just filled with so much joy, so much joy, so much joy. I hope it pours on you. I hope you feel it. Fall in love with God. I love him. I love him. And I know that he takes care of me. And no matter what comes, what happens, he's with me. Love you, babies. Smooches. <laughs>